So hi Devashish. Hello Jitesh. Yeah, I hope you're doing well. Yeah, I am well. How are you? Yes, I am also good. Thank you for asking. So Devashish, uh, can I get a small intro of yours? Yeah, so I am Devashish Pari. I am from Vajapati, Odisha. Uh, mm -hmm. I have completed uh, my B.Tech in CAC uh, from Central University. I am a 2021 year graduate. Uh, after completion of my graduation, I have joined in Talented for a six month data analytics course. Uh, in this course, I have actually got the opportunity to work uh, with different kind of visualization tools. Uh, like in SQL, I'm in SQL, I am more well versed with uh, concepts like order by group by uh, uh, then uh, joins. Then in Excel, also I'm more well versed uh, and I'm more acquainted with concepts like VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP. Pivot table in Power BI, I have dealt with many kind of complex data sets. Uh, also in Power BI, I have developed various kind of dashboards like HR dashboard, sales dashboards, uh, and uh, also I uh, work with ERP system of a company uh, by using the Power BI tool. And uh, the Python I have mostly used for data processing. Uh, that's all about me. Thank you. Fantastic, fantastic. So uh, Devashish, can you please tell me your strength and weaknesses? Uh, so yeah, so my strengths are basically I'm a team player. I'm a hardworking person. I can function well really when, uh, when like the press environment is completely pressed and stressful. I can work uh, on those kind of environments as well. And uh, also, sir, I uh, am a completely professional person. I don't take break before completion of my work. That's uh, is a, that's a one of the strength uh, that I have, and also I am completely effective in my communication. I can communicate with other others, and uh, I am a very adaptable person. Like if you would put me in a new environment, I can adapt that environment very easily. Uh, those are about my strengths. And sir, my weaknesses are that I always strive for perfection in my work. Uh, that means that I actually uh, led up to or. Waste some of my, uh, some of my necessary time on some uh, tasks that that really don't need any any particular kind of time, uh, but I am already work started working on those uh, weaknesses and uh, I already learned how to overcome them. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. So, uh, Devashish, as I can see your resume, so you are a B.Tech computer science graduate, correct? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Fine. So, uh, Devashish, uh, why do you want to apply on the data side? Why don't you go for the with the development side? What's the reason behind it? Uh, I would like to know. Ajitas, yeah, actually, Ajitas, I am always more interested in data analytics. But even when I was in my big tech year, I was mm -hmm. learning about uh, visualization tools like SQL and Excel. Uh, a, a bit Excel I, I have learned uh, during my big tech year. And after that, actually, I've learned... Uh, more about uh, data analytics through YouTube, and then I joined Talented so that I gain more and more clear knowledge about uh, data analytics. And I am really good in an, um, in my analytical skills. I am more well versed with almost all the uh, visualization tools uh, like SQL, Excel, and Python, uh, and uh, Power BI. I have developed projects also on on on, on each of the visualization tools, each uh, individually, uh, which is a part of my resume. Uh, so that is the reason I always wanted to start my career with this group. Oh, fine. Fair enough. Again. So, uh, <clears throat> Devashish, let's go with the technical round then. Okay. Just hold for two minutes, two minutes, sure. and then we can go with the technical round. Fine. Okay. Yeah. So, yes. So uh, Devashish, as I can see, you have done your project using tools like uh, uh, SQL, you know. So I would like to know more about SQL. Okay. So uh, Devashish, tell me what is joins in SQL and what are the different types of joins uh, you used in your project while you were working in you know, your project. So what were the different types of joins? Uh, so, so, okay. so joins are basically the concept where we are uh, joining to different tables based on a particular common column. The only condition that they, they should have a common column, which data type should be same and value should be same. And there are various kind of joins are available in SQL, like inner join, outer join, self join, and, and cross join. Uh, inner join basically is something which will give us only the matching matching rows. 
uh, from two different tables and outdoor gen uh, basically there are various kind of outdoor joints are available like left outdoor joint right outdoor joint full outdoor joint uh, then like left outdoor joint means it will give us the all the matching rows of left joint uh, left table which is uh, matching with the right table also all the uh, records from the left table the same with right right uh, outer joint and full outer joint is basically the combination of both full outer right outer joint and left outer joint uh, those are the outer joints and self outer joint means your uh, self joint means basically your table is combining with itself uh, that is self joint and, and the cross joint is basically the cartesian product like the a cross b b cross a like that in which the each element of a is combining with the uh, elements of uh, b uh, and uh, suppose if a has three has three uh, Three elements and B has three elements. Means it will the total pair will will be uh, four is nine because A cross B means three cross three into three equals to nine. So total nine number of pair we will get in our result. So that's all about the joints. Then how many joints are required to join eight tables? Eight tables. Yes. Yeah. So like we can perform inner join among those eight uh, tables. So, how how many joints is required exactly? Seven. Okay. Fine. Fine. Okay. Uh, let's jump into the next question. Uh, do you know any difference between union and union all? Yeah. So union will basically like union and union are almost like the work is almost same, but the only difference is that uh, union will always give uh, the duplicate records if if uh, if. Uh, the results that have any duplicate record, then it, it can't filter, but union, union all can filter out and it will give us only the distinct results. Okay, fine. So, um, next is, uh, do you know something about Windows function? What is Windows function? Yeah, und uh, so okay. Windows functions are, uh, Okay, no worries. Okay, okay fine. Uh, can you please elaborate more on the difference between da uh, rank and dense rank? Yeah, so rank, rank and dense rank uh, will be basically used to rank the rows. Uh, but rank is basically like if two records are same and it will give two, two means the next record will come as directly three, directly four. Uh, in, in the rank means it will basically keep on particular rank number, but dense rank will not do that. It will... Uh, like it, it, it will evaluate each row perfectly. So that is the difference between rank and rank. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, as I can see, you have done projects in Power BI as well. Okay. Yeah. What were the major, you know, or uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, the major part you used in Power BI while you were building a project? Okay, so that. Two obstacles that I feel uh, that I actually faced during my project. So first of all, I see that the data was not perfectly uh, formatted. Like the okay. text uh, text data are not in the perfect format. Numbers are not for, in the perfect format. So I have to fix the data sets, uh, data type. Uh, first, then I have to fix the data sets as well because a few data are not available in the first and few are not available in the second. So I have to merge those those two data sets and. Uh, uh, Basically, the thing is that in, in SQL or in Excel, I have to write the entire code, but even in the Power BI, it is very easy. Uh, like I just need to mod the two queries. Uh, so that is, that is the reason I have used the Power BI and uh, I join uh, my mods to different data sets so that I can get proper data for visualization. And uh, the next thing is that uh, for during calculation, I actually I was actually facing some issues uh, because uh, my data is contained like the text data uh, and the uh, numerical data actually contains some, sp some spaces, so I have to trim all of them. And uh, also, I need for visualization, I need the month, year, and date uh, individually, but I have only one date. For I have only one date column, so I have I have used the major queries over there, uh, so that I can get all of them very all of them individual columns, and my visualization can make sense. Fine, fine, fine. So, uh, Devashish, one more question. Okay, uh, I would like to add is, uh, do you think rollback is necessary in SQL? Yeah, it is it is necessary, especially when you are writing something really important. And in, in case if you have like deleted that one, uh, that 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 particular code means 
you will not get if you have not uh, like uh, use the if, if you have not uh, write your query according to the role back that then you will never get that back so it's, Yes, yes, please continue. Please continue. Yeah, so, yeah, so I think that our role back is very much important. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Um, so, when are group by used in SQL? When do we use a group by function? Uh, okay, so group by is basically summarize for using for summarizing your data. Uh, so, group by is majorly used when we are using the aggregate functions like the form, mm -hmm. mean, max, uh, count. Those kind of functions when we are using, we have to like we have to use the group by so that we can get the aggregate functions data perfectly with the summarize uh, summarization. Otherwise, if you will not use the group by with the aggregate function, it will automatically fetch a error. So, uh, are, you, are, are you sure on that? Are yes, sure on I that yeah, we have to we have to write we have to use group by with uh, the aggregate functions. Otherwise, it will throw. A, like if you have two different columns, suppose I I want country by cell means country sum of cells in in the in the in this particular uh, scenario I have to group by the country otherwise it will show error. Uh, but if you are writing if you are writing only the sum of cells like we don't want it with country wise or anything uh, like the condition wise only and we want only the cell uh, sum sum of that particular column then there was no need to write group by over there. Oh, fine. Fine, fair enough. And again, uh, where do we use where clause and where do you use having clause? Some major difference. Can you please elaborate on that again? Yeah, okay. So where clause is basically right with uh, only uh, the simple select statement. Like by by the writing where clause, we can able to put, put our condition with the select statement uh, like that. But uh, uh, Yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah, Go on. Yeah, yeah. But in the but the having is actually the writing when when we are using the aggregate functions and the where is always writing before the group by but having is always write. Uh, we we have to write the having always after the aggregate functions. Uh, yeah, those are the main differences between where and having. Okay, fine. So. Can you please tell me what is constraint and uh, do, do we have any types of constraints in SQL? If so, please elaborate each one of them. Okay. So constraint are basically some of the rules which uh, which actually uh, applied on the variable, like which kind of data the variable can be able to accept. Uh, while we're, and we have to like uh, consider them when we are, when we are uh, assigning data to, 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 to those particular variables. Like there are various type of uh, constraints available in SQL, like uh, uh, primary key, foreign key, uh, then check, unique, default, and not null. These are various type of uh, constraints are available. So not null means basically like uh, whenever we are writing a uh, a variable it is it is by default null so by writing the not null we can be able to so that we can be able to uh, assign that this this particular variable will never take null not null values it, we have to assign some value to it then the check means it will check that uh, uh, whether the condition is satisfying or not default means that if you are not assigning any particular value to, the, to that uh, variable it will take the default value Unique means sir, it, it can take one null value only, and all the values should be different from each other. Primary key is also like a stator version of unique, like you will not take any null value, it will not take any duplicate values. And primary key is mostly used uh, to combine to different tables, uh, and uh, it will it will uniquely identify each row of a particular table. And foreign key is basically dependent on primary uh, primary key because if primary key we have one two three. We can't enter four in uh, in the foreign key, and the, the, the values of foreign key are always limited by the primary key. It is mostly uh, like, like one table can have only one primary key, but one can one table can have multiple foreign key. Uh, so these are some of the constraints. Fine. So thank you. Uh, you got uh, you know uh, your technical is almost done. So I do have uh, to uh, I do have a couple of questions again. Um, so there was, if you've given a chance, how will you handle tight deadlines and high pressure situation in our company, if given a chance? 
so sir first of all if i will get a chance then uh, when when it comes to labor, like deal with high pressure uh, the high pressure task means in those in that particular time first of all i will make a time table and i will prioritize work like we, the task we have uh, less deadlines I, i will try to uh, complete all of uh, for some them then i will complete those tasks who which has time or if, if yeah if all the tasks have same deadlines means i will try to complete those tasks who will take more time then like that i will prioritize okay fine so if being shortlisted how soon you can join the company sir immediately i can be able to join the company but sir i am living in odisha right now so only for the travel for four i need to two to three days i will be glad if you can provide me that particular that that most time only for the travel for four otherwise i can immediately join okay fine so are you flexible with our timing our timing is from evening 6 to uh, 3 in the morning so are you comfortable with that timing yes sir i am comfortable with the timing okay fine so any questions for me yes sir sir i want to know the uh, day to day roles and responsibility of a data analyst in your company okay and what and what kind of training uh, you guys will provide to me when i will... sorry what kind of what kind of training you are providing to a data analyst when he or she is a new joiner okay fine so the roles and responsibility will be of course on uh, you know sql and uh, power bi okay these are the major tools we will be working on fine you will have a kt knowledge training on that as well and the, uh, the 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 amenities or the perks you will get from our end will be uh, a laptop okay company laptop will be provided from our end and the basic bag and you know the joining kit that will be provided from our end and uh, yes induction program will be again done when you join the company uh, you know that's it yeah when you join the company fine yeah okay uh, thank you for joining debashish uh, we will let you know okay once you have been shortlisted thank you for joining you may leave thank you thank okay. you sir